Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about screen GUIs. So, to make a screen GUI, we need to come down to our starter GUI, and let's add a screen GUI. Now what is a screen GUI? Well a screen GUI allows us to basically display information on the screen. So, under the properties tab, which if you can't see, you can find under view and properties, you'll see we've got a few options. Archivable, display order, enabled, ignore GUI inset, name, parent, reset on spawn, zindex behavior, auto localize, root localization, and selection group. I'm going to talk to you about each one today and we're just going to discuss what they all do. Okay, so this first option we've got is archivable. Now by default this will be checked and if archivable is on it basically means that an instance can be cloned. So if you have archive, basically Archivable determines if an instance can be cloned using instance clone or saved to a file. Now, what I mean by this is you don't don't need to follow along here. I'm just going to show you for the sake of this. I'm going to wait three seconds and then we're going to say, there you go. And as you can see, after three seconds, it's uh, been duplicated. It's actually cloning it multiple times over. But yeah, you can see after three seconds, uh, yeah, because one, when a new one comes in, it repeats the script. And yeah, you can see it's cloning. However, if we now turn archivable off on the uh, screen GUI and hit play, we'll see it won't clone anymore. And uh, player GUI, as you can see, it's not cloning. In fact, it doesn't even go into the player GUI. So essentially, if archivable is off, not you're not really going to be able to clone it save it to a file or even really see it if we add a frame let's remove this script now we've got a frame top right top left sorry and we hit play we can't even see it because archivable's off essentially what's happening we can't clone the GUI and we can't even move it into our player GUI so if you've got archivable off basically the GUI is not really going to do anything at all okay so leaving archivable on let's now talk about now let's talk about the display order so the display order is basically the order that screen GUIs are displayed or te the technical term is drawn but we can just use displayed. So essentially, if we've got this on one, so let me add in like a frame or something. Okay, so we've got one frame here. We'll make this blue. Now, don't worry too much about following me. I'm just demonstrating, for example. And now we make a second screen GUI with a frame slightly to the right, which is red. If we put the uh, display order as one on our first GUI, it's going to show over this other GUI because the display order is lower. Basically, the higher the display order, the more it's going to show over. So say we have this now on one. Of course, the red frame is going to be um, showing above the blue frame because this is on zero. However, if we make this like five, because five is greater than one, the blue frame will show over the red frame. If that makes sense. Basically, different screen GUIs. If you change the uh, display order they're going to display in different orders if that makes sense that's quite straightforward right now we've got enabled so enabled is basically what it says if we've got something inside if we turn enabled off the screen GUI doesn't show anything there's nothing inside of it it just doesn't show anything everything's disabled okay next we've got ignore GUI inset now if I have a frame, this is very useful for like main menus. Say I've got a frame and the size is 1010, like so. And we then hit uh, test and play. You're going to see the frame gets lodged down a bit here by this top bar. So yeah, you see it gets lodged down by this top bar up here. If we go onto our GUI, our screen GUI, and click ignore GUI inset, the uh, screen the GUI will no longer get nudged down by the top bar. It stays covering the full screen, which is useful if you want to make things such as main menus and stuff like that. And I've just opened up a server, um, local server. Whoops. Let me uh, close that. Which, yeah, it's, it's useful if you want to make like menus and things like that. Right, the name, that's simply the name of the screen GUI. So if we called this maybe um, example GUI, you'll see it changes over here to example GUI. It's just the name of it. The parent is the object it's under, so you'll see it's under starter GUI. 
So uh, example GUI's parent is starter GUI, which means the example GUI is a child of start starter GUI because that's what's underneath. If we move this to server storage, we wouldn't be able to see the GUI anymore because all GUIs have to be under starter GUI. But if it's under server storage, the parent is now server storage. Reset on spawn, that simply means if you die and when you respawn after your death, will the GUI remain there or will it be reset? So let's, let me show an example. If we've got a frame here, let's make it 0 0.2. Okay, so here we go. I've now quickly coded a button, which will open up a frame. So here we are. Now let's click this. And if we die, because we've got reset on spawn enabled, you'll see when we respawn, the GUI disappears. We have to reopen it with the button. However, if we have reset on spawn disabled, the GUI will stay there even after we've died. So let's hit the button and now we're going to reset our character. And the GUI will still be there. As you can see, we've spawned back in and the GUI is still there. So that just determines whether or not the GUI disappears and resets essentially when you die. Now, auto, now localization, you don't really need to worry about that. Um, so much selection essentially you only really need to worry about the data properties of the GUI but that's the very basics of screen GUIs essentially that archivable means uh, whether or not you can clone it display order is the order it's displayed enabled is whether or not it's enabled ignore GUI uh, insert that's the top bar at the top if it covers that or not and that's basically the very basics of starter GUI. Now in the next video we're going to talk about frames and how they work and the properties of them. And we'll start talking about colour property as well. So I hope you found this video helpful everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.